Today's audio is about Bhagwan Vishnu, the Lord of the Lords, the God of the Gods, and the One above all. Maya, meaning illusion, has no power over him, and he whom none deceiveth. You know. That Almighty God, Narayan Vishnu Hari, is also known as Sri Krishna Govinda. I'm going to read from the scripture so that people can know exactly who he is. Vishnu is the God of all the beings, said Bhishma. He created the elements and the earth, and then he laid himself floating on the surface of the waters. He made consciousness which infuses all created things. So thy spirit, who you are, thy existence, who brought forth your existence, where you come from, that's Vishnu, that's the reason why you exist. And as he lay on the waters, a most beautiful lotus grew from his navel and gave birth to Brahma, the creator. From the surrounding darkness, there then sprang Madhu, a demon. So from the darkness came out a demon bent on killing Brahma, the creator. At this point, Brahma called on Bhagwan Vishnu to protect him and instantly Vishnu destroyed the demon. That is why he is called Madhu Sudan because that demon was named Madhu and Vishnu slayed that demon so he is called Madhu Sudan, slayer of the Madhu. That's why his name among his many names. Vishnu then created day and night the seasons and all temperaments of weather. In Brahma's lineage, now he's talking about, see Brahma is the creator who originated from the novel of Vishnu. So Vishnu creates separate from what Brahma creates. Now he's talking about Brahma's. In Brahma's line, sons were born and daughters. And from there came animals, demons, gods to populate the three worlds. Next he created four human orders. From his mouth he created Brahmins, from his arms Kshatriyas, from his thighs he made Vaishyas, and lastly from the feet he brought lowly Shudras into being. He appointed gods, devas, angels to be responsible for diverse aspects of the heavens and the earth and to guard the directions. He made Brahma the lord of created beings. He's talking about Vishnu. He appointed Yama, the ruler of the dead, K Kubera, the lord of the treasures, Varuna, the lord of the waters and of aquatic creatures. So it shows how from Vishnu originated Brahma and he also gave forth all these different devtas who are appointed. Yama is in charge of God of the death, when the soul goes to the judgment day and he faces, that's Yama, right, who decides whether it stays on heaven, hell, etc. But it all, you see, right, all these major personalities who govern the universe came forth from the Vishnu. Now, I'm going to read a little bit about verses which proclaims the glories of Vishnu. Now, what does it say? It's uh, very interesting because when you know the real truth that who is he, then only you would want to worship him and have faith in him. People who don't know him right now they just say that he is one of the gods or many gods. No, he is the almighty God. I'll, I'll prove it to you within the scripture. All right, I'll read a, read a little bit further. At first there was no fear of death. People lived as long as they chose. There was no sex. Children were conceived by the touch alone. Only in a later age did people feel the need to marry and live in pairs. And only later too did warfare start. Now, tell me how Vishnu 
Lord Vishnu saved the world the first time by taking animal form. This is how it was told to me, said Bhishma, in the Hermitage of Markande. Very interesting story I'm going to read. It's the incarnation of Vishnu. Some say, why does he take this uh, animal or this human or different incarnate? There is a reason. No. As a human mind, you think that, why does he do that? He does it for a reason. If you use your knowledge, higher intellect, wisdom, you shall understand the reason behind it. All right? Many years ago, the earth was overrun by demons. And they had very powerful and arrogant, they became very powerful and arrogant. And rather than being content with their earthly riches, they cast their eyes onto the heavens, swarg, and were envious of the prosperity of the devas. The other inhabit inhabitants of the earth, minor deities and their offspring, were oppressed and grief-stricken, and came to Brahma in great distress. He measured them, he reassured, That they were, would be given a safety. So he prayed to the invincible Vishnu. Vishnu Bhagwan at that time assumed, assumed the form of a boar to destroy these Asuras for their pride and wickedness. Right? As Brahma had said, Vishnu in the form of Vara, boar went to the place under the ground where the demons had congregated. Astonished, the foolish demons tried to fight with this Vishnu, seizing it and trying to drag it down, like trying to fight. But however hard they tried, with whatever weapons they used, Vishnu remained unharmed in a boar incarnation. At this time they became afraid. Then the boar, Vara, incarnation of Vishnu, started to give roars like voice to the roar so loud and terrifying that it re resounded over the entire earth and through the heavens as well the demons fell to the ground unconscious and the boar pierced them with his hooves tearing them apart the fat and the flesh from their bones as the tremendous sounds the devas ran to brahma in confusion he told them the world had been put to rights again by the great Vishnu, the creator, all destroying time, ordainer and upholder of the world. And he told them that from time to time, when the earth was oppressed, Vishnu would incarnate himself in order that balance and order could be restored. And so it happens that in our day, he has taken birth as Bhagwan Sri Krishna for the good of all the humanity. Right, so I just um, read you one story, right? That how the Vishnu is the original creator and the god of all. This is mentioned in Satyuga, right? So when you read all these scriptures talking about four Vedas, you'll find out that the original, the first, the ancient is the Bhagwan Vishnu, right? He is the one whom all these devas, holy angels, mortals and immortals and human beings and all these different devotees of different kinds, they pay their homage to him. All right. So, now you have an idea that who Vishnu is and he is the purifier and any man who worship Vishnu, his sins are destroyed and he is entitled for the heaven. And Hari has the power to give moksha. Some people think that he is one of the gods. No, hurry here. Vishnu has the power to give you, liberate you from the cycle of birth and death. No more reincarnation. You would go straight to heaven and it's eternal. You won't come back. Alright, thank you very much for listening. I hope it helped you to realize who, how, who and how much powerful almighty Vishnu Bhagwan is. And um, if you are new to the channel, please uh, subscribe if you feel like to. And again, thanks a lot. Appreciate your time and passion, efforts. Thank you.